Well, hello, Sag. Thank you guys for coming back. So this is going to be your what 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 to expect for December, but I think I'm, I want to change it to like what's coming in for me in December because it's like you asking a question. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Tarot, okay? Now, okay, um, these are all miniature cards. We're going to try to get in as many cards as we can just to get the messages for you. So let's see what we got for you, Sage. Let's see. Your birthday coming up, Sage. Are y'all ready? <laughs> okay. I know that's right, Sage. Okay, this is just too many. <laughs> Can't have like the whole deck turning over. We got to do right for Sag. Let's get it. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, Sag. Oh my goodness, Lord, Sag. What are we? What? What is this, Sag? <laughs> what is going on? This actually kind of started off with Virgo a little bit. It started off weird, and then the whole reading took the turn for the best. It was crazy. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Sag. Sag. Okay. Oof. Okay. Okay. This is just too many bad cards. Like, what are we doing? Sag. What is going on, Sag? Oh, I haven't got a bad reading in for you in a while. I haven't got a, 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 a crazy reading for you in a while, Sag. So I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. That's good. I want to tell you what I see. I just got to get the cards down. Mm. I'm in anticipation too, okay? All right, let's see. Okay, okay. This is, I see Sneaky Pete at the bottom of the deck, but I'm not done. This is you guys dropping something. And to me, this is, you know, you're kind of where, where you are now, kind of spilling into December. Disappointments, maybe wanting this person to come back for your birthday, things of that nature. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of sadness. I feel like this is coming from the fact that you want something to work before your birthday. Some of you guys are not going to get that. And this is causing a lot of, I mean, it, it almost, it's almost like exactly what you're saying. You guys were dealing, some of you guys are going to actually deal with someone, you know, during that, during that time, during birthday season, and they're going to disappoint you. And this is going to be like, uh-uh, I got one more card. This is going to be your final card. That's going to be right here. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Give me a good card. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Oh, Sad. I'm scared to see. Oh, okay. Sag, this is healing and letting go because there's a big sword, Ace of Swords. This is healing. This is healing and letting go. Um, and I feel like, you know, this is because we're not done. Don't don't get to don't get it twisted. But this to me is disappointment, something that you may have been expecting. Your birthday is coming up. OK. At the end of November and, um, and in December, some of you guys are waiting for some type of communication, <clears throat> waiting for your person to come in. And, you know, I there's a lot of guarded energy. See, here, even with this, 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 this right here, let me know that this person is going to come back for a lot of you. And I feel like when they do, there's still going to be a reason to be like, stay away from me. You see what I'm saying? Like, why is the guarded energy coming up? I feel like there is going to be a sense of healing. Um, you know, I feel like the person who was playing mind games will return. I'm just letting you know, because we're talking about decisions here. There's a lot that's going on here in December. Okay, a lot. And it's not going to be the way you think it is. That's what I'm saying. But I feel like there's a lot of confusions going on. There's a lot of like, you know, I want what I want. I feel like this card is healing though. With this three of sword, I don't see, I'm not seeing heartbreak because you're already in it. I feel like this is healing. Definitely kind of explaining that to me with this 10 of wands. This is healing. But I feel like your person from the past is coming back and this is why it's so much in your energy. You're very guarded here. You're blocked off. 
okay? This person is the one that made you cry, would be a manipulative. And there are some things that you've been healing from, but this person, I feel, ooh, I feel like this person is going to come back. And maybe they want to talk and communicate here with that Ace of Swords. Maybe they'll tell you the truth, but I know you're going to tell them the truth. I know that's it. And I've already told you. All right, listen, this is the card, one of the cards that come, came out. I feel like whatever it is that you need to know will come to the light. This is part of the clarity. Okay? This is part of the clarity. And this is why you guys are going to be so guarded. Because some of you, th this is going to be a lot of contact because of your birthday. Okay? You guys are going to be facing this person during your birthday time. For a lot of you. Not for everybody. Here, just talk about, ooh, you're, you, have, you have friends and family that's around, so that's good. You know, you're considered to be a really good person, a really good friend. You have friends and families, people who love you that's going to be around you. And, of course, that makes sense because around, you know, Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, friends and family are kind of hanging around. So you do have your close confidence that's going to be around you. Here with the moon, um, the moon talks about secrets, um, but it also talks about, um, you know, going within intuition um, things of that nature. So I feel like part of the reason why you're so guarded is you're going to need to have your intuition dealing with this person because there are some things that you're going to find out here. I'm telling you, there are some loose solutions that you're going to um, have too. So maybe you and this person are um, going to try to find, figure some things out. And if that's the case, I do see solutions here that I do see. Oh, here, something dealing with a older person here. This is talking about age. This is like a, uh, you know, a grandfather, grandmother. It's it's also here talking about loss here, okay? Um, and I'm not trying to, you know, rain on your parade. This is not, it's not saying that. But this generally talks about maturity, an older person. This is also talking about loss. You've already experienced loss. Some of you guys are going to be cutting things away. That is a fact. Okay, sorry. I don't know why this thing keep doing this thing keeps popping up. Okay, so I, I see a lot of burdens being put down, um, things of that nature. But don't. This is only a part of the. Just this is only a little bit of it. A little, a little bit. I know one time I did what the predicting um, cards for November, and somebody snapped on me so hard in the comment section. They're like, "You should stick with what you stick to." I like your, I like your readings the way it is. I'm like. Am I responsible for the cards that come out? I can only tell you what I see. Okay? I can only tell you what I see. Some of you guys are going to have a mature man coming into your life. Some of you guys are going to be experiencing loss. You're going to have confidence. You're going to have confidence. Loyal friends and family around you. You're going to find out something. Whether it's good or bad with your person. I can only say what I'm seeing. This doesn't have to be a bad thing. You guys are healing from a heartbreak. We already know that, Sage. But yeah, that was weird. Like last time somebody was in the comment section, they went in on me. I'm like, okay, so what am I supposed to do? Lie? Then I mean, what type of what type of re teacher, I mean, reader would I be? Come on now. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what we got. This is only part of the puzzle. We have three other decks that we're doing. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get. Um, we're going to get, you know, of course, the pink cards, okay? You guys already know the Savage deck, okay? This is the Savage deck. <laughs> Here, this is cassette. This is reminiscing. This is talking about outdated thinking, replaying events over in your head. Of course, I feel like this is you and your person. I feel like you're just thinking about things, um, you know, from the past, okay? Reminiscing. Very much so. A lot of girl talk, guy talk. All right, what do we have for Sag? Come on. Sword and roses, truth and click. Didn't I say that? Didn't I just say that? Truth and clarity and revelations, didn't I tell you? It also says protection and power, honey. If you need protection, you got it. And you got the power. That's the victory. Being clear about something. 
someone telling you something. This does not have to be bad. Remember, I said this is healing. This three of swords is not heartbreak. This is healing. Some of you guys may go through heartbreak just because they're not even on this channel yet. So when they see it, this will be here. But for majority of you, this is talking about healing because you're putting down that, that burden with that ten of swords, the ten of wands. Okay? So you're going to find out something here. Here, mirror. It says mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationship reflect our wounds. Okay? This person you're dealing with, you know, I've already said a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who has issues with parents, who've had abandonment issues, who've had a whole lot of different issues, and it's literally reflecting in the relationship. You guys are mirroring each other. You got an attitude. I've said this before. You got an attitude. They got an attitude. Okay? You guys are going to talk. And each of you have a different result. That's the fact. Here with the boat, receiving what you need. Closure and moving on for some. That is a fact. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get, this is, I have another one here. This was really good for um, another uh, sign. You do realize all the signs had, you know, heartbreak in it. All of them had it. It was just a different message for each one of you because it's going to be different for all of you guys. Okay. Reflect on the message. That's what you have to do. That's all. That's all you need to do. All right. Let's see what I got for Sag. What messages do I have for Sag? Okay, these cards usually are coming out. They don't want to come out. Don't be shy. There we go. Need more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what do I have? Here I have journeys. These you guys are going to be traveling. Someone's going to come back to you, and there's going to be, um, and you know, some people may have to come from a distance. Okay, I have here gifts. This is coming out of everyone's card. Why? It's Christmas. You see how spirit never misses? Some of you guys are going to be getting gifts from your loved ones, your lover. Okay, this is what it is. Making your heart rejoice. Uh, this is a word I couldn't say the other day. Melancholy, <laughs> melancholy, sad, basically. There's some things that you guys are going to be, you know, reflecting, feeling a little down over. And this is not for everyone. This is not for everyone. Here I have wedding. Didn't this come out before commitment? This is talking about what you guys are going to be facing, okay, with your person. You see how it looks like at one point it looks, no. I, I mean, what I really truly do feel, there's going to be some type of truth here. You've been through hell with your person. You guys are going to be very guarded when they come back because you're trying to heal from this heartbreak. But there's going to be a lot of things that's going to come to the light. And I'm telling you, this is why this card is here. Jumping up for joy. So let's go ahead and get your romance angel. And we will be good to go. Sag. And this is only for the month of December. <laughs> this is not your December read. Okay. But if the messages are true for some, yeah, it is. It's, it's definitely true. Express your love. Remember, what do they have to say? This is all a part of the puzzle that we have here. All part of the puzzle. Playfulness. Recapture that romantic moment, honey. Okay. Codependency, overthinking, addictions to each other. What is at the bottom of the deck? Retreat. Some of you guys are going to be spending time with your person. 
some message saying being said over and over again. Some of you guys are going to let things go because you don't want to deal with it. And it's going to be someone new coming in your life, which is what we're going to see in the, in the December readings. We're just seeing what is happening for a little snapshot of it. Some are, are going to be coming back. That's just a fact. So, Sash, that was your reading. Thank you guys so much. Um, for what tier? Victory. Okay? Don't look at the bad stuff. Every car, every reading kind of had something like that. But let's just look at the totality of it. There's going to be a lot of things that's going to be revealed to you. Okay? And there's going to be healing of the heart. So, Sash, thank you guys so much. I love you. And I will see you guys back here again later. Bye.